Good, and you're going to hold your rollers like Annie's holding it. And actually, I'm just going to grab myself a mat so I don't sit on the hard floor. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to start standing, have your feet hip width apart and nice and parallel. So that's it, bring them closer earlier. Good, and then find that your second toe is what's facing forward. So it's not so much your big toe, so you find a little bit pigeon toe. It's about a fist between your ankles. Good, feeling that nice pressure down into the hip and ground. Feel like your feet are growing roots. Take, start to take a few deep breaths. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing. And breathing out. And on the next inhale, I want you just to let the shoulders shrug up to the ears as you inhale, the roller will roll up. And exhale, let the shoulders drop down. Inhale, allow that roller to slide up a little bit and sliding down a little bit. Inhale, and exhale out. Good, nice guys, inhaling up. And as we're doing this, allow every exhale to take the day away, take the week away, just blow it all out. And every inhale to feel nice, fresh, clean, unworried air in. Exhale to allow all the day to come out. Good, and letting your body start to calm. Feel that like your heels are sinking deeper into the ground. A longer length through your spine and a sense of lightness through the crown of your head. And on your next exhale, you want to start to let the shoulders shrug down and chin towards your chest, start to roll down and let the roller roll down your legs. It will come up the arms as you go down the legs. So you just gotta press it into the legs a little bit. Inhale wherever you feel happy. And then exhale, roll back up. Scoop into the belly to roll all the way back up. Nice and tall, imagine you're up against the wall and you slowly peel the back of the head off the wall, the shoulders, the ribs, the lower back. And just keep going, let your head drop there first. You're gonna to have to listen. Inhale. <laughs> exhale, roll back up, scoop through the belly. Inhale, tall. Exhale to roll down, chin towards your chest and let your head feel heavy like it's dangling off your spine. Your belly is lifting up off from your roller. And keep doing a few more when your own time for me, guys. Everyone looks good. Soften your knees a bit, Vasa. You look a bit locked and in your heels, so take your weight forward. Yeah, and keep your weight more in your toes as you roll up. You should feel a bit more abdominal connection. Yeah, that's much better. Lovely. Oh, nice dangling there, Liz. That looks really good. And then on the next one, come all the way up. And we should now feel so much taller and lighter. We're ready to come down onto our mat. So we're going to put our roller down to the center of your mat. And you want to line your back over your roller. Louise, you're going to put your roller horizontal and just have your pelvis only on it. Yeah, like we've done it before in class. Good, so your tape, oh, you've got a short one as well, Elliot. So you're gonna do the same as Louise. You're gonna turn your pelvis, turn your roller the other way. So you're gonna come off your roller, turn it horizontal on your mat, yeah, and then lift your bum up and just put your bum on it. So your shoulder's on the ground. Good, okay, so shorties, you've got just your pelvis on the roller. If it's too high, it'll be under your lower back, and that looks a bit high, Louise. So take the roller down a bit, yeah. Good. And then everyone else with a long roller should feel the head and the tailbone on the roller, okay? So let's relax your bum cheeks for everybody. Feet a little bit closer, Vasa. Take a deep breath in. And then those arms are gonna reach up to the ceiling. Inhale as you reach the arms even further up and feel the shoulder blades separate away from the roller and then exhale, let the shoulder blades sink back to the roller. Inhale, reach through the fingertips and go up. Exhale, let the shoulder blades wrap. If you haven't got a roller, just pretend those shoulder blades are wrapping into the ground. Good, use that breath. Let the shoulder blades glide away from your spine and sink down in towards the spine. Good, inhale to flow up. Exhale. Nice, guys. 
Two more there. Just really settling into your breath and your movement. So if you feel like you uh, breathe opposite to me, that's totally fine. But try and find your breath and your movement joined together. Now you're gonna take your right arm over your head, left arm by your hip. Good, and then scissor the other way. Good. And if it's your first online math class, you'll start to work out where's the best way. I think Louise actually in future, you'd be better like on a diagonal, a bit like how Annie's diagonaled. And you might find there's more space in your room on the diagonal than on the, on the short side, yeah. So scissoring those arms, keeping the ribs soft. And just allowing, yeah, that's good, Louise. Allowing that glide of your shoulder blades around your ribs. Nice, soften the ribs down a little bit there, Elliot. Just feel the breath more in the back of your ribs. Yeah, that's it, that's nicer. Everyone's breastbones are heavy. And then take both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale as you float one leg up to tabletop. Find your pelvic floor, find the lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to take the other leg. One side might be a little harder than the other. Inhale to lower. Now, if you need to bring your arms down onto the ground, you can. That will give you a bit more support, okay? If the roll is just under your pelvis, keep your arms up just to add the extra challenge. You can always bring one arm up with the opposite leg. That's your in-between. Yeah, good, faster and first. Good. Nice, guys. And for Elliot and Louise, take one arm over your head as the other leg comes up. So that adds in a little bit, leg lift and one arm reaches. Good, so you've all got your own little levels there. Pick what feels best for your body. Really good. Now keep the leg up and that same arm. So if you've got both arms, they stay up. Now leg's gonna reach out towards the front of the room in front of you and then pull it back in. Good, opposite arm will go behind you. Exhale as you reach, following Annie. Inhale back in if you're unsure. Exhale, reach. Inhale back in. Good. Feel like you're really pressing something away with your foot. Good. So just one leg up there, Louise. One leg reaches out, straightens, and pulls it back in. Opposite arm goes out with it. So your left arm. Yeah. So keep one leg down, Louise, one side. <laughs> Making you think, Louise. So one leg up, one arm overhead. Good. Straighten the leg and then bring everything back to centre. Stay on that side, same side. All right, let's everyone switch over to the other side. Float the other leg up. So as the leg reaches out, reach it out towards the door in front or the wall in front of you and pull it back in. Add in the opposite arm if you wish. So sliding the arm back. Good. And back in. The free arm can be on the ground helping you or up to the ceiling. Narrow through your waist as you press away and feel resistance in the air. Good guys, looking really good. Last two here. Good, all in. This is great because it's making you be like, you know, giving you authority over your movement and tell me just telling you what to do all the time in the studio. <laughs> all right, come all the way back in. For Louise and Elliot, you're going to keep your arms up to the ceiling. For everybody else, because you're on the rollers like this, you're going to have your arms down by your ground. Everyone, so arms on the ground for full rollers, arms to the ceiling for pelvis rollers, okay? Float the legs up to tabletop, everybody. Good. Feel how your leg bones sink into the hip. Good. Lower your shins a bit, Curse, so your feet are in line with your knees. So feet lower. Good, we're gonna go into your toe taps. Reach your right knee away, your toe will dip towards the edge of the mat and then float back up. Reach your left knee away, good. So feel the knee really reaches away for you more, Elliot, like your toe is gonna to reach the very edge of your mat. So you stay with your knee bent, but you reach, yeah, you feel that's more core? Now imagine there's a little puddle of water and you're dipping your toe into the water. Now that puddle could be on the ground or it could be hovering halfway down. Good, you okay there, Kirst? Thumbs up. If you've got a short roller, Kirst, is it not really on the whole of your body? No, you're okay. You can go back to your single legs, Kirst, if you need to, like we just did. Okay. Now the options, you've got double legs, reaching both legs away, tapping the toes, and then exhale, narrow through the waist, draw it back. Good. Now watch that rib, little rib pop, everybody. So narrow the waist, zip up the pelvic floor, reach. Good. Anna, be careful how low you go. 
I, would, I reckon I'm gonna go back to single legs. Just one leg tap. Yeah, that's better. Good. Lovely, guys. Really listen to your body, please. Don't, <laughs> I'll be telling you off otherwise. Last one there. Good, then one leg at a time down to the ground. Both arms up to the ceiling. Arms up over your head to circle. Circle all the way around if we've got enough room. Good, both feet are down and your arms are circling, opening up through your chest. Looks really good, guys. Keep going, in the water. And then change direction with your circles. Nice, so hopefully that's felt like you've really settled into your body. Take those arms up to the ceiling. And for Louise and Elliot, put your roller behind your shoulders. Still look horizontal, but they're behind your shoulders. Everyone else who's still on your roller. Take the arms up to the ceiling, exhale, curl up head, neck and shoulders into chest lift. Press the palms down and towards the ground. Inhale to go all the way back. So you're gonna keep your bum down, Elliot. And then just gonna curl your upper body forwards into a chest lift. So just like what Annie's doing, but you stay with the shoulders on the roller and then you go back. Okay, I'll show you in a moment. So yeah, that's it earlier. So you're going to have the roller behind your shoulders and just going to curl into the chest lift and reach it back, arch you back and curl up into the chest lift. That's it. So Ellie and Louise, for more um, challenge, you can have your legs in tabletop. So that will give you a little bit more, okay, with your rollers like that. Beautiful, guys. All right, knees towards you, Elliot, a little bit more. Yeah, keep them in. Use your abs to keep them in. That's better. Good, everyone stay up on the next one. Exhale to curl up, we're doing your hundreds. So that's your little pulses of your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, nice guys. Now, if Louise and Elliot want to take one leg out, you can. You can do it without the rollers, you find it's too much. And everyone else can take one leg in tabletop. Good, and even reach that leg long, if you want. Good, looking really good, guys. Find that balance. Great, everyone bring that leg in, and down, and other leg, breathing into the back of the ribs. Breathing out, pump those arms strong. Good, lovely. Really good, breathe into the back of the ribs. Scoop that belly in. We'll one more breath in. Exhale it all out. Good, lower the leg. Reach your arms back over your head and enjoy that stretch there. Good. Everyone, let's come off from your roller. So roll to one side, roller comes off. Good, and you're actually gonna place it underneath your pelvis. This is gonna be for everybody now. So it's gonna be horizontal. Lift your bum up and place it underneath your pelvis. Relax through your bum cheeks for me. Tailbone heavy, sit bones are wide. Good. I think go up a little bit, honey. So where your hip bones are on the very top of your um, body, you should feel that that's directly on top of your roller. Float your legs up into the tabletop. Good. And then the arms to the ceiling for challenge, arms down for support. You wanna reach your right leg out really long. And then as you lower that right leg, bend the knee, draw it in, cycle your legs. Reach the left leg out really long, slower it down, bend the knee, cycle. So bicycles, yeah. So bicycles, yeah. Really get that leg going long before you pull it back in. Beautiful, just keep the arms still above your head. Good, or arms down by your side, great. Can you feel the resistance in the air with your legs? Really reach out long with those legs. Get lower with your legs there, Elliot. Really big bicycle legs. Like you've got the biggest bicycle pedal that you can imagine. Good. Reverse your bicycle. Reach it out and around. So imagine your toe is dipping into some water at the edge of your mat and flicking it up to the ceiling. Exhale. Where's that narrowing of the belly for everyone? Lift up your pelvic floor. Really good, guys. And then take your legs up to the ceiling straight. Good, one leg straight down towards the ground, other leg stays to the ceiling, exhale, scissor. Exhale, scissor, narrowing through that waist. Can you all straighten your legs a little bit more? 
that leg that's coming down to the ground looks a bit wishy-washy. Make it really strong and scissor those legs. So to, as one comes up, the other one's on its way down. Scissor. So scissor halfway for me, Annie. Yeah, so then you switch. Yeah, you're switching your legs. That's it, beautiful. Feel that lower belly? Obviously you can break any time you want. <laughs> I forgot to do that. All right, knees into your chest, have a hug. Hug your knees. Good, everyone okay? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Happy, happy, woohoo. <laughs> All right, legs back up again and straight up to the ceiling. Find a Pilates V, so that's when your heels are together and your toes are slightly apart. And wrap the back of the legs. Now, how low can you reach those legs away from you? Exhale, wrap the back of the legs and start to reach the legs away. Inhale, float back up. So imagine in the studio, we've got our feet in the loops and we're pressing down into those loops and back up. Nice. As I said, arms can be down for support or up for challenge. Good. Really find that connection in the back of the legs and opening through the hips without any pop of your belly. Exhale, reach those legs away. Good. And then hold your challenge point and then bend the knees, froggy in. Exhale, draw the heels down and push away. And bend the knees, froggy in. So everyone will have a different challenge point. Draw the belly in a little bit, Elliot. So pelvic floor as you push out. That's better. Good, and more, it could work the back of your legs. Your belly might want to pop up if you go too low. Two more. Last one, you're gonna keep the legs out there and we'll go into heel beat. Open and close, beat those legs. Lower. <laughs> Good, that's it. Beat, 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 beat. Wrap the back of the legs. Good, beat the heels together for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Good, last breath and come all the way down. Nice, guys. Hug your knees one more time. If you need to move that roller a little bit, do. Sometimes it moves out the way. Then the legs go back into tabletop. Squeeze your knees together. Inhale to take the knees over to the right. And side to side, sorry, go to side to side. And then inhale over to the left. And feel like you're massaging the back of your pelvis on that roller. Keeping your knees together, your shoulders quiet and you're just twisting through your lower back. Yeah, and as always, arms up is more challenging, arms down is supporting. Allowing that kind of twist and wringing out of your spine and finding the little bit of a scoop of the belly to bring your knees back to center. Nice, and if we've all been sat a lot, let's hug your right knee towards you and lengthen the left leg away. So hug your right knee, hug it with your hands. Pull it in and then that left leg is going to start to drop towards the ground. Good. Now imagine I'm there pressing your left leg into the ground. Feel that lovely stretch for your left hip. If you need to, you can bend the knee to find the ground. And then when you do, try to reach out. So first, see if you can get your heel on the ground. On that straight leg. Yes! Feel the stretch now. So we want to really feel pulling the knee towards you as you press the leg away to get that stretch in the hip. Nice guys, let's switch over. Bringing both knees in, holding on to the other knee, other leg up to the ceiling and lower it down. Feels kind of good to go into the lower. Keep pulling the knee in as you reach the other leg away. Good. And feel, just keep allowing that front of the leg just to lengthen a little bit more as the leg gets lower and lower to the ground. Good guys, stretching out the hip. We've sat, been sitting around more, haven't we? And then coming back to center. Good, bring your feet down on the ground, lift your hips up and roll the roller towards your feet. Lower your bum down and then lift your feet up on top of the roller. Ready for some bridging. Now you can always take the roller away, but you want it closer than you think. Okay, so see how you go, feet hip width apart, like a fist between your ankles, fist between your knees. And then start to tilt the pelvis towards you as you press into the feet and come up. Are you okay, Vasa? Yeah, you okay? Tell me if you need to talk, all right. And then exhale, tilt the pelvis towards you, bridge up, inhale at the top. Exhale to melt all the way down. Lovely. So this is going to get your hamstrings working a little bit more. Have your feet wrapping around the roller, Liz. 
like a little parakeet bird claw. Good. And roll back down. I reckon, Elliot, pull that roller a little bit closer to you. Yeah. That's it. Open the front of your hips. Beautiful. Imagine you're on the reformer, guys, getting those hips nice and high, knees reaching out in front of you, and feeling the footpath pulling in. Really good. Remember, you can take the roller away because it is pretty challenging. On the next one, let's stay up here. Shoulders are anchored. Point your toes and roll the roller a little bit away. Flex your feet and roll the roller towards you, keeping the hips high. Really wrap your feet around the roller. That's it, guys. Point and flex. You get those hamstrings working, Louise, because you're rolling away from it. Yeah, work the back of your legs. That's it. <laughs> yes, better. And then roll all the way back down, guys. Oh, stretch those hammies when you need to. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> We're going to come back up again. So exhale, press into the feet and peel up, holding it there. Press into one leg and lift the other leg into tabletop. Good, lower that leg down, keep the hips high, and then push the other leg into tabletop. So we're like we're marching on the spot here. Lovely, now if this is too much, just go back to your single, you know, your double leg bridging. Beautiful guys. Marching on the spot. And then last one, both feet on, and roll all the way back down. Oh, pull that roller in, Elliot. Keep walking it in. So if your roller keeps going away, it's because you're pushing it away. So you're not using your hamstrings as much. So pull the roller in with the back of your legs. Now, if you felt that was enough for you, you do another set of marching. Otherwise, we're going to go into a single leg. So we're gonna go up, lift one leg up to tabletop and straighten it to the ceiling and then roll down single leg. Yeah, roll back up single leg. It's a killer. You've got four. Good, rolling down, keeping that leg reaching to the ceiling like it's full of helium and super light. Great. Remember, you can go back to your double feet. And then on the fourth one, stay up there. And then lower that straight leg down four times, keeping the hips high. And exhale to reach away. Inhale to come up. Keep those hips square and high for me. Good. Oh, you're going to hate me, hammies, after this. And then we're going to bring that leg down on the roller and let's roll down to reset. Whoa, get that roller in, Elliot. It's sneaky, it keeps going away. And then again, coming up, bridging up. Take the other leg up into tabletop and up to the ceiling. And then four bridges down and bridges up, keeping the body and the legs still on the roller. Good. And if you want faster, you can just go into your like, if you want, you can go back to marches that we did before. So if you find it's too much, go back to your marches on the spot. When you've done number four bridge, stay up and you've got four leg lowers, keeping the hips high, working the back of your leg. Lovely guys. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring both feet down and roll all the way down. Push that roller away to the edge of your mat and have your ankles on top of your roller. Beautiful. Take the arms to the ceiling. A nice big inhale. And as you exhale, just let the shoulders anchor down. Then we're gonna be ready for your roller. Yeah, or preempting me. Inhale, lift up into your chest lift. Exhale, reach your fingertips to your toes. Press down into the feet, yes. Reach all the way forward. Have that lovely curve that Annie's got. And then sit tall, nice and tall. Good, slowly start to roll down, reaching your fingertips forward as you roll it down, pressing down into the roller. Good, inhale, let those arms float back behind you. Good, take an exhale, bring the arms to the ceiling. Inhale to chest lift, exhale to curl up. Use your arms if you need that, so on the mat, push yourself up. Roll all the way. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale to roll back down, slowly, 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 slowly. So we're working your abdominals and your hip flexors, but we're also lengthening them. So if you're over gripping, you will struggle. So try and find length through the back of the spine to come up. Grow tall, good. Anna, do you wanna do the assisted one, which is where you have your knees bent and your hands behind your legs, and you roll down and roll up? Okay, yep, and let your legs float to the ceiling. 
That's it, hands behind your legs there, Anna. And then press the legs away and you're holding on as you roll up. Yeah, press those legs down, less shoulders. Good, on the next one, we're all gonna stay up for me. And let's go and sit on that roller. So roll it towards you and sit on that roller. A little roll, lift your bum up, sit on it. Lovely. Good, legs out in front of you, about mat width apart. Good. Now if you've got really tight hamstrings, you might wanna bend your knees for Elliot and Louise. I know the ones who are tight. You're just like me, I'm in your pain. Arms out to the side and grow really tall. Good. So what we're trying to get is a nice straight spine. So right up on your sit bones, Elliot, you're a bit tucked under. So can you sit up a bit taller? Like you've got to stick up your spine. <laughs> be nice. Bend your knees more, Elliot. I think that would be better. And then you can sit right up on it. Yeah, much better. Now exhale as you rotate to the right and keep the hips and the legs still. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate back. Inhale, center. Beautiful. So it's your ribs that are twisting around your hips and your hips and legs stay really still. Looking so good, guys. I'm so happy that I can still get you moving. Now we're gonna to go to the right, to the saw. Dive your left hand over and cross off your left right foot. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, rotate, and dive to the other side. So really scoop that belly in as you go. Can you keep your weight even on each hip as you do it? That's it, pull that belly back there, Vass. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, scoop through the belly and dive. Really lovely. And you may soar off your shin, ankle, or pinky toe if you're flexible. Think, see, see how you go. I can see Louise laughing. She's like, maybe my thigh bone. <laughs> Last one each side. Look at our own body there, guys. And then coming back. Looking really great. All right, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees when you're even. And bring in the roller underneath your hands. So come to the back of your mat on your knees. Have the hot roller underneath your hands and you're in your quadruped position, okay? So you've got like that nice square. So have enough space. Try not to let the roller be too close to you. You want a long spine. Good, come forward a bit, Anna, for me. That's it. So the knees are under the hips, hands under the shoulders, and then let's go with cat stretch to start. Let's round your spine, scoop through the belly, and push into the roller, like push it down, like a little push it down into the gutter. Inhale to open up your chest, Ripple your spine and flare your cheeks. Exhale to scoop and curl. Good. Feel like you're always resisting your roller as you go. Inhale to open. Exhale, scoop and curl. You guys are all looking pretty fab. Now I feel like your waist narrows and your pubic bone comes to your nose. And try and relax your bum cheeks and your hips when you do that so it's more your deeper core. Lovely. Now find your midway point, so you're neither arched or curled, but you've got that lovely long spine. The top of your head is reaching away from your tailbone. And press into the right hand and float the other hand forward, reaching out, good, and bring it in. Now press into that hand and float the other arm forward and bring it in. Good, you okay there, Curse? You keep moving. Thumbs up. Let me know if, you, if anyone needs to talk to me, just let me know, like just kind of like, go oh, like a charade. You speak, and I'll unmute you. Lift up your head there, Elliot. See how you're sinking between your shoulders. Can you lift up between your shoulders? Good. Now, whichever side feels stronger, and you're really working that arm on the roller, opposite leg's gonna go back. So I think Louise, you're gonna have to come forward. Yes, find that balance, inhale, come in. And then alternate, exhale, slide out, arm and opposite leg. Inhale to come in. Good, now I want you all to think about that arm that's on the roller. 
You can take the roller away, you can do just arms, you can do just legs. There's lots of variations if you're feeling unstable here. But use that instability to get you to get stable. So that hand that's on the roller and the knee that's on the mat, it's like they're magnetized towards each other. A little bit lower with your leg, Elliot. Reach it long for me. Good. Now keep lifting up out of your right shoulder, Elliot. Lift up out of it. Yes. Try and keep lifted as you go. Really good, guys. And then let's take one arm and leg out. Whatever one just comes first to you. That will probably be your strongest. Hold it there. Your arm's going to go out to the side. Your leg's going to go out to the other side. And then you bring it back to center. Exhale as you go out. Inhale back to center. Good. Can you stay in the same arm and leg as you do this? Okay, so you can be keeping the arm and leg straight. It goes out to the side and then back to center there, Louise. Keep it straight as it comes back in. So it goes straight back behind you. Okay, have a look at Annie. Straight leg out and in. Yeah, that's it. Good. Whoa. Back up, pelvic floor, lower belly. Everybody come in and switch sides. And again, arm and leg out. And then you go out to the side and back to center. It's not big with the leg. Just let it roll into the hip joint. Everybody needs to press into their supporting hand and feel that supporting hand is being magnetized towards the supporting knee. It's all about that. It's not really about the arm and leg that are moving. Yes. And you know how I'm really good at counting, so let's do one more. That's <laughs> enough, Annie said. <laughs> All right, pull that roller towards you and put your knees on the roller. And keep your bum down as low as you can. You're just gonna roll out the shins. So just pull the roller towards you and press the roller away. The higher your bum, the more it's a core work. The lower your bum, the more you're gonna get massage on your shins. So you can choose what you like. Nice, guys. Oh, Liz is going for the full-on core work. There's a little bit of knee stretch there. <sighs> Liz, yeah. All right, and then hold the knees underneath your hips with your knees on the roller. And just let your toes just rest gently on the mat. Good, so you're still in your quadruped position. Energize those arms, soften the elbows and lift up out your shoulders. Yeah. Now, for challenge, you let your toes float, okay? For stability, your toes can be stay rested on the roller, okay? You're gonna take your one leg out behind you, nice and straight, and get it in line with your hip, really long. Hips are square facing the ground. If you want the challenge, you've got the opposite arm forward if you want. And then you're gonna do a hamstring curl. Pull that heel towards your bum, get the heel to touch your bum, in your mind, and then straighten it out, same leg. Bend the heel to bum. Now we haven't got leg weights on, but I want you to imagine your, key, your ankle is super heavy and you're dragging it in. You can use it with your imagination. You imagine you've got 10 kilos on your ankle. <laughs> use that hamstring. The key is to keep the pelvis still and lift it out through your shoulders. And I think, Elliot, you're locking your elbows a bit. So roll your elbows in just a slight. Yeah, that looks better. So you're actually working your upper arms. Good, hold the heel into your bum, little pulses of the leg up to the ceiling, pulse it up to 10. Exhale, nine, good. Really good, guys. Keeping the hips as square as you can, pushing into those arms. You know, I love to count, three, two, one. And bring that leg down, good. Have a little break, tuck your toes under. Yeah, do like a little toe sit. So tuck your toes under, just sit. Just sit, like Annie, just have a little sit. Pick out your wrists. Checking in with everybody, all thumbs up. Happy, we got the other side, let's go forward. So hands under shoulders. Now just watch, do you know where you would like to hang out in your arms? So really energize the arms, it's easy to forget. Take the other leg out, nice and long in line with your hip. Feel that lower belly draw away from your t-shirt. Good, and then slowly pull that heel towards your bum, keeping your knee as high as you can. Inhale, lengthen out long. Good, exhale, drag it in, good. Elliot, can you keep that leg up as you pull your heel in? Yeah, and pull the heel in, yes, that's it, good. 
And you guys, you've got, you know, you haven't got a mirror, but you've got a camera. So if you ever need to check in what you're looking at, just look at your own little picture. It should be in the corner. You all right, Chris? Keep going, heel to bum. <laughs> heel to bum. Oh, and lengthen that leg out, Chris. Joining us. And then keep that heel to bum, hold it there, and then like little pulses up, up, up. Good, keep the hips really still there, Kirsten. and lift up your head a little bit. Use your arms, there, that's it, pulse it up. Narrow through that waist, feel that foot is gonna touch the ceiling with a footprint for three, two, one, and bring it all the way in, nice. Now you're gonna lie onto your stomach, guys, and push the roller forwards. So it's underneath your palms, head is on the ground. Nice, and let your forehead, oh, it's gone, Liz. <laughs> Roll away, too far away. And let your forehead just be hovering so it's in between your arms. And then let's do the shoulder shrugs like we started. So we're gonna reach your fingertips forward let the shoulders come up to the ears and then soften the shoulders down. Reach your fingertips forward and soften them down. Your roller will just glide with you. So you're just going up and down, up and down. Head is hovering off from it. Up and down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. How well can those shoulders glide, guys? Can you imagine there's like soap underneath your shoulder blades and your ribs gliding them up and down? And then just find your midway point with an eyebrow pull down, but feel like they're spread wide. Start to take your gaze forward and lift your chest up and allow the roller to float towards you. Opening up your chest, beautiful, and then melt all the way down. Let's do mini ones. Let's keep your lower ribs on the mat. So as you take your gaze forward, roll the shoulders back and lifting up, and then come all the way back down again. Good. Now you can two breaths here. You can inhale into your chest to float up. Good, but if you feel a little bit niggly in your lower back, why don't you exhale just to give a little bit of core control? Nice, guys. So your lower belly is gently drawing away from your hip bones, just gently. Your legs are relaxed a little bit more. So watch if you've got a clenchy bum. Yeah, and just imagine you've got a laser beam on your breastbone. So as you come up, you're shining it over the top of your roller. A little pressure into your arms. And let's hold it up now, holding it up. Good, lower ribs are still down there, so back a little lower. Good, reach out one leg, lift it up. Reach it long, feel the hip bones are still even on the mat, lower the leg. Exhale, lift the other leg, and lower. Keep alternating between your leg lifts, trying to reach the wall, window, sofa, kid behind you, whoever you've got there, good. Nice, if you want, add in the opposite arm so that floats up a little higher as well. Good, and find that connection between the leg and the opposite arm across the back. Soften the shoulders, feel the pelvic floor. Cubic bone is sinking into the mat. Yeah, lovely guys. And if you want, both arms down, both legs up. Kick your legs like you're in the ocean which me and Annie did yesterday. Oh, it's so good. And if you want, float the arms off the roller and kick those arms like you're in the ocean, not like you're in the ocean, you can be drowning. Good, keep the pelvis still, breathing in and out. In, in and out, out. Good, nice guys, two more breaths. You could just kick those legs a bit more, Elliot. Get them higher, go on, use your booty. Yeah, and then come all the way down. Great, just push that roller away. Bring your hands by your ribs so your elbows are up to the ceiling like swan, swan arm, Danny. Good. And then this time as you start to lift up, open the chest like we did with the roller, looking at the front of your mat, but carry on all the way into your full swan. Now if this is too much, you can go mini ones. Slowly use your arms to lower you. Arms, 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 and lower all the way down. Beautiful, take your gaze forward, push your arms away, opening up through that chest. Good, feel like your hips are lifted up. You're really lifting out your shoulders. Use your lower belly slightly, and then resist it slow, slow, slow all the way down. You should feel those triceps work more, okay? So pushing the mat away as you come up. Yes, 
and then feel like you're pulling them up towards you as you lower from your pubic bone. Keep your head up, Annie. All the way down. <laughs> so the head's the last thing to come back. Nice. Beautiful. Really good extensions. You're going to feel great when you get back to work. Your lunchtime mat madness. Ma ma ma. I'll speak. And on your last one, and just push your hips back into your child pose. If you've got that roller close, just bring the roller towards you and put your hands on the roller and let your head drop lower than your arms because that feels really nice underneath your armpits. Open the knees if you wish, close the knees if you wish, whatever feels more comfortable for your child pose and take a deep breath. Maybe take your hands over to one side and feel the stretch through one side of the body. Maybe take your hands to the other side. Breathing to where it feels tight. And then you're gonna lie on your side facing me and have the roller in long ways in the front of the, on the side of your mat. So you're gonna do some foot openings. Your top knee will be bent on the roller. Your bottom leg will be straight. Okay, Annie's showing you. So have that roller like parallel with your mat. Okay, and it's probably just off your mat a little bit. Good. Now both arms out in front of you, and if you need to bend the bottom arm to give you support, you can. Good. And yeah, slide the roller down if it's in your way a little bit, so your shin is like being rested on the roller. Now the key is to keep the roller really still. So as you take the top arm up to the ceiling in your book opening. Feel that you reach your knee into the roller as you open your chest and go back. Now, if your roller moves, it's telling you that you're moving your hip. Oh, how good does that feel? Breathe in there. And exhale to come back. Inhale. Exhale to open that arm out. Reach the hip forward. Open the chest back. Let your head follow that movement. And then close the arm all the way back over. Remember, you can use your bottom hand as a little support, or if you've got a cushion lying around, that can be on your head if you need. Looks really good, guys. Keep reaching the knee forward. Nice. And then come all the way back. Support your head with your hand and keep yourself in the same position. You can take your top hand to your hip and hold your hip still. And on your exhale, lift your bottom leg. So it's going to lift up. You might just see Annie's just tipping up over the top and then inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. So you're working your inner thigh. Good. And lower. So think about lifting from the very top of your inner thigh. Sometimes our foot likes to creep up a bit more further. Now as you lift, do you notice the hip comes towards you or you press into your lower waist? Find the lift of your lower waist with the lift of the leg. Yeah, that's better guys. Remember a little bit of pelvic floor and core. Just a little bit, just to keep you steady. Nice. And imagine that bottom leg there is just sliding up and down the wall. So you're finding that resistance into the leg. Hold it up, little circles of the leg in the hip. Good. Keep the hips still and the waist lifted. Imagine there's two paddle pops each side of your waist. Change direction with your circles. Looking really lovely, guys. And then bring that leg down. Nice. All right, so we're going to come up over to the other side. So you probably want to stay facing me. You're always welcome to roll onto the other side. And keep that roller in front, top leg bends, let the inside of the shin rest on the roller, arms out in front of you, bottom leg straight, let your head rest down or have a support if you need. Arm up to the ceiling, open the chest and come all the way back and all the way down. So as you open that arm up to the ceiling, feel the reach of the knee into the roller to stop it from rolling back and you'll open your chest more. So it really isn't about the arms. The arms are like this little guide, like telling you where you're gonna go, but it's about the chest opening up. Enjoy a deep breath into the chest. 
looks lovely. Ah, oh, using that nice deep breath. And then last one, coming all the way back. Bring your hand underneath your head to give it some support, either bending the elbow or straight, your choice. And that bottom leg, you to nice and long. You can align with your body. And then exhale as you lift it up. Oops. <laughs> Lifting up from that inner thigh, good. Try and get that lower waist lifted, yeah, and fast. It's better with your head totally down. So maybe first, take, bring your head totally down onto the arm. That's it, so then you can lift your bottom waist a little bit. So both sides of waist are nice and long, like those little paddle pops, lifting your ribs off your hips. And the work comes from that top of the inner thigh. And then keeping the leg up, little circles, circling deep, and circle back. So think about that leg circling back behind you a little bit. Good. Watch that it's not just from your foot there, Adam, Elliot. Yeah, circle from the top of your leg bone. Change direction. Looking great. And then bringing it all the way down. Really nice, guys. I'm going to come up into a seated position. So facing me, facing on your front of your roller, up and you're going to make it. So I don't mind which way we start. Let's have, yeah, actually I might direct you better. Let's have your left leg in front, like Annie's left leg, and the right leg behind. No, no. Oh yeah, Annie's in the mirror. Left leg in front, <laughs> right leg behind. And then the roller will be on your left side. Yeah. So Annie's gonna mirror you all. Yeah, there we go. Good. And yeah, if you need to have cross legs, if it feels uncomfortable doing Z-sit, you can. Now push the roller away, go into your mermaid. Draw your left, right rib in, left rib in, as you open your right rib out. And then come all the way back. Good. Kirst, can you bring your right knee forward a little bit more? Yeah. And keep both sit bones down on the ground as much as you can. I reckon go, Elliot, go back to cross legs. Yeah, and then keep your pelvis still and just move your spine. It's like a bendy straw. Good, guys. Really nice. Drawing the lower rib in as you open the top rib out. And then let's hold it on this next one. Take the arm over and then thread the needle. Top arm twist and reach underneath and scoop it through. Inhale, back to the side and look to the ceiling. Exhale, twist and through. Inhale, open. Beautiful. Exhale, twist and through. Try and keep your right butt down, Elliot. Keep it down into the ground. Yeah. And then come all the way back up. Swing your legs the other way. Elliot, cross your legs the weird way. We'll feel odd. <laughs> and the roller on the other side. And again into your mermaid. Now if it feels crunchy in your hip, you can always modify with taking that leg out in front of you like Annie's showing. Okay? Or you can have it hooked behind you. Ready to go into your mermaid, pushing the roller away as you go up and over. Take a deep breath into your left arm. And then coming all the way back. And then over we go. Trying to keep your hips really solidly sinking down into the ground. Put very relaxing music on. I actually put on, I put on a not a playlist. I put Sing Through the Decades and it's like, I'm going to do this. But obviously, the world wanted us to calm a bit more. <laughs> Hold it over. Ready to thread the needle, wrapping it in and reaching. Inhale back into that side stretch. Exhale to twist. Try and keep your hips really sweat, still and square here. Yeah, so it's your upper part of your body that's twisting. Really wrap it around. I'm saying really a lot. <laughs> twisting the spine like you're wringing out a wet rag. 
Good, and then you're gonna come back to center. Lovely, guys. All right, come back onto your hands and knees. And you're gonna have hands on the roller, but it is quite advanced that so we can take the roller away and just go into a normal hand, um, hands on the ground. Good. Lengthen through your spine, and then take one leg out, tuck your toe under. Now just hold it here for a moment. Feel like your heel is pushing back against the wall, like your head is lifting forward in the equal and opposite stretch. Now that's really important. Now, Elliot, lift up out of your shoulders, bring your ribs up a little bit. Yeah. Now take the other leg out and nothing should change for your body as your other leg reaches out. Beautiful. So I want that push and pull. The heel reaching back, your head reaching forward and soften your elbows if you're locking in them, Elliot. Yes. Lift up, Elliot, you have to do some upper back work with you. Sorry I'm picking on you, Elliot. <laughs> All right, holding it there. Keep pushing the roller down, lowering, lifting up through your lower belly. Good. And be active, we're really active. Lift your head up there, guys, pushing your heels back, pulling your head forward, pressing your arms down, and then bring your knees in one at a time. Good. And we'll go again. Taking now the opposite leg out, one leg out, and take the other leg out. Good, energize here. So you can hold this plank position if you wish, break at any time you need, or, Hips stay square, lift one leg up, leg full front. So one leg lifts, it taps down to the ground three to five times, keeping the hips still as you go. Good, if you don't wanna do this, we can keep your legs in plank. Good, lift up between your shoulders, everyone. Then you've got three to five on the other leg. Great, Vasa. Looking really good, Curse. Keep that connection. Ribs to hips, find that connection, and then bring both knees down. Great. Looking really good. All right, so we're just going to come up and you want to take your right foot onto the roller. So you're high kneeling with your right foot on. Good. And bring your hands to the roller as well. Good. And then you're going to sit your bum back towards your heels and stretch out through your hamstring. Good. You might need to push that roller a little bit away from you. And then now press into the foot, lift your hips up, forward, bend the front knee and lean forward so it's a hip flexor stretch. Okay, so just imagine your foot is like on the foot bar of the reformer. That's it, now we're gonna pull back into your hamstring again. Keep your hips square as you pull back. That's it, try and keep reaching for that roller there, Louise. And then bring your knee forward, reach your hips forward, lean your hips forward into it. So it's quite challenging, you don't have to use the roller by the way, you can always have your foot on the ground. It's quite challenging the rollers because it's rolling around. And again, one more, going back. Square those hips as much as you can. For more hamstring stretch, flex your foot, pull your toe up. So your heels should be back in the heel on the roller. Good, coming in for the last hip touch stretch, just flex up. <sighs> Teaching online is a lot of talking. And then we're going to switch over. So you have to be a little bit crazy. You like to speak to yourself all the time. <laughs> We've still got Annie here today. All right. Reaching your hips forward, opening up for your chest. And then bringing your bum back to your heels. Really round through your spine. Fingertips are just lightly on to help you balance. And try and get the bum back to your hips. You'll feel the hamstring stretch. Remember, you can do it without the roller. Bend the front knee, lean your body forward, opening up through your chest. And then coming back into that hamstring stretch, squaring the hips up as you can. Toes up to the ceiling for more stretch. Try and get the back of your ankle and heel on the roller. Coming forwards. And remember the more we do, the better we get, the more we can practice. And I'm gonna let me know if there's any times that you really like. I'm still playing around with my schedule. One more there, back into your hamstring. And then coming all the way back, bring both knees back together, tuck your toes under, come into a little squat position, and slowly lift your knees up. 
Lower your heels, roll yourself up to standing, scooping through your belly. Inhale nice and tall. And exhale as you nod your chin to your chest and start to roll down. Let your arms dangle. Take the weight into your toes. Soften your knees. Take a little nod of your head and feel how good that feels compared to your first roll down at the start of class. A little shake of your head. And you slowly, slowly are going to start to roll all the way up. And you guys are all done. You're all off mute as well. So thank you so much. Thanks, Gary. Great. Go back to work now.